Hey guys, it's Kugel again with another ROM review and this time I've got Resurrection Remix ROM KitKat for Galaxy S3. Now, I have previously done a review of this version, uh, the KitKat version with Experimental. So it wa it has now recently been, uh, I guess, graduated from the Experimental version to a real stable version. So uh, I thought it would be a good time to go back to it. So let's get into the ROM first of all what you will see here is the normal lock screen which is pretty standard on all um, KitKat ROMs let's get into ROM now first of all we have two options for the home app so you have a uh, launcher and Nova launcher the launcher is a light version of the Google experience launcher so you can choose whatever you want from that so that's pretty cool now let's get into the settings menu now in settings you can see the layout is a bit uh, different from other KitKat ROMs. All these sliders are at the front like location and profile rather than being somewhere here. So you do have that change in the layout settings and there are the personalization settings which are the extras which you get from this ROM. So it does have a lot of function. Let's get into that first. Okay first we have uh, resurrection tools where all the magic lies now first of all we have about resurrection remix with all the developers that is for uh, one developer and the contributors that is uh, cyanogen mod and aokp yes this does take elements from all the roms and these are the main roms from which it takes so that's um, well i guess it's a thank you or credit screen so that's pretty cool you can see the other options basic tool first of all we have interface users UI settings first of all we have status bar setting so it contains all of these it does have tap, double tap to sleep which is well it's quickly becoming my favorite option in the ROMs it does have show or disable clock uh, battery sti uh, status style like icon percentage icon Portrait, icon, la landscape, circle, text, hidden, altogether, whatever you want. That's pretty cool. It can, uh, you can enable showing the percentage on the icon. So that's pretty cool. Signal status style. You can have icon, text, or hidden. Uh, show notification count. You can have the notification count there. The latest change log when I read it showed that you can, uh, when there is only one notification, it won't show the notification count as one. But there, when there are more than one, so so it seems a bit uh, a basic feature it should have every ROM should have but you'd be amazed at seeing a lot of ROMs showing one notification as well account so yeah that's there uh, quick setting panel now quick setting panel is similar to cyanogen mod so there aren't much extra features to show to you guys these are the toggles available so yeah it doesn't have styles so that's one reason I'm not much into the cyanogen mod quick setting panel style so yeah notification drawer you can have all these you can get uh, the quick access ribbons here which can be linked to the tiles or a new layout altogether so that's pretty cool expanded desktop so you can have that with these functionalities navigation bar so that's what you're seeing here so navigation in the navigation bar there is an option to reduce the size of navigation bar which I found to be really helpful because uh, right now I guess I'm running at 24 dpi 48 dpi is the um, normal setting default setting you can even uh, select that to 0 dpi so that you can hide it altogether so that's pretty cool you can have you can unlock it and add uh, as much as you want so it's pretty cool uh, quick uh, quick launch shortcuts you can uh, assign shortcuts to the uh, navigation bar so right now uh, the only shortcut i have is the torch so you can have torch as you can see halo is available so halo is pretty cool uh, what else hardware button so you do have the option to remap the hardware buttons so if you are using the navigation uh, bar and you want to do something else with the hardware button you can do that so that's pretty cool you can just do that and it's pretty cool now you do have volume controls here one real function which I really missed from the 4.2 ROMs is this one which is keyboard cursor control I do use this a, a lot and this does this ROM does have that so that's pretty cool 
um let's get into the other settings now checkbox spawn so you do have all this uh, status bar and notification so you can have network speed indicator which shows the arrows whenever there is a uh, interaction in the network so contextual notification panel header which is a omni feature which really does work you can see the changed so it's right now it's kind of showing the um google play google now header so yeah high text in tile so you can have that one also that's that seems pretty cool that uh, really does change it to 4x so that's really awesome huh, that's really cool you do have that function flip tile so that is the only style i guess which you can change you can have to, uh, when you touch the tile it will flip uh, so that's pretty cool uh screen recorder in the dialogue that is this dialogue so that's pretty cool you have that option now lock screen blur lock screen see-through so you can have a see-through lock screen with uh, the blurred effect which is really a cool feature you can see you can kind of see whatever is in the background but not to a point that it uh, compromises on your privacy so that's pretty awesome feature you can have battery around the unlock screen which was a uh, feature available in 4.3 and uh, uh, such things fast torch is something which i have been using for a while now so you can uh, when the screen is off you can just uh, press and hold the power button so that it will turn on the flashlight so that's pretty cool i'm not sure if you're seeing the flashlight but it is on and i can just release it to turn so now we do have halo settings now halo does include ninja mode and uh, the all the good stuff with which it comes so that's pretty cool but uh, i did find out that the halo mode is not resizable and uh, movable but that's kind of a new thing and it will come eventually i believe so yeah lock screen now lock screen does have the same settings as any other rom so nothing much uh, special in that these are kitkat settings you can enable custom widget from here so that you can use custom widgets on the lock screen it does have recent ram bar which is this one right now the application ram bar is enabled you can see the amount of ram free is 600 megabytes um, that's that's insane honestly that's really insane but do mention i want to mention that i haven't installed any apps and i haven't installed any g apps also so um but again 600 megabytes free that's insane as hell so yeah that's pretty cool uh app bar it does have app bar setting you can enable app bar and get uh apps there so that you can use it kind of like a multi window but uh, not quite so yeah that's there um uh, clock widget it does have c clock so you can have that and uh customize it as you want it does have the list view animation which is pretty cool scale animation and uh uh, the interpolator is my favorite as you might know already so music mode in the um uh, in the notification area you can have all of these options this is what i was talking about navigation bar height which you can adjust so at now uh, right now it is at 24 you can change it to normal or you can change it to really small or you can just hide it altogether by choosing zero so that's pretty cool i normally don't use it so i'm going to keep it at zero now screen recorder settings you can select how it will be recorded so you can change the bitrate you can uh, increase the bitrate to up to 100 megabytes per second so that's pretty cool <laughs> so you can record audio video size selection so you do have a lot of functions there now we have resurrection remix update so you can check for update from the rom itself so you can just select that right now it is at 16 1 2014 which is the latest version as of now so yeah you can uh, view the change log from here so yeah this is the latest version as you can see no more experiment experimental release as all will be official so yeah that's the official this is the first official version of this rom now so that is it for the resurrection tools which is one huge hell of a setting option so that does have a lot of options so that's pretty cool uh pitch black deactivate so you do have pitch black option which changes everything to dark uh really dark things so you can have that that's pretty cool and dark and red accent with a red accent rather than white so you can have that theme chooser you can choose themes i guess this one is a bit different 
the pitch black option also changes the animation speed which i guess is a bit of st a strange thing so you can see the animations are different it is uh, similar to the 4.2 animations i guess rest of the settings are similar to what you would expect from a normal kitkat rom so i'm not getting uh, too much into that you do have in the options you can see phone about phone page you can see it is kitkat 4.4.2 um the selection remix kitkat incremental i guess it's still showing incremental release but yeah it will be corrected i guess so yeah so i guess that much is said about the rom you do have the halo app with which you can just change the things around so that's pretty cool let me show you guys the boot animation which is pretty phenomenal i really like the boot animation on this one so here is the boot animation which is awesome it's one hell of a boot animation the previous version also had the same and it's really awesome i just want to show you guys that so i guess that much is it about the rom hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye